<laughs> I'm in danger. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jake, this channel is called Jake of All Trades, and today I am finally getting back to the vote-driven bandmade requests. Um, for This one is for Take Me Higher by Bandmade. Um, so I had been, um, you know, kind of going through a lot of stuff. I ended up getting COVID and whatnot, and so I just, last time I, I released a, a, a video for Catharsis that I had recorded a long time back and was just waiting for like an intro to come to me. and. Um, also, it's just like I don't have the energy to um, do a whole brand new video, so I just kind of like threw an intro together and said I'm putting this one out. Um, <laughs> and then before that, we had From Now On, which is a brand new one. So it's been a little bit since I've done one that was voter driven, but we're back. Um, and obviously, uh, we have Take Me Higher, as I mentioned before, and this one had 67 votes on it, um, driven primarily by uh, Keith Meyer and. Um, Jeff B5 with the most amount of votes in, in this one. So, um, but I'll uh, I'll give everyone a shout out here before we get into it. Um, I We are doing a, the studio version and a live version, so we'll get to do a little compare and contrast today. Um, so before we get into it, let's give a shout out to everyone that uh, contributed to this vote total. We have BM for Life with three votes, Brian DeVito, Curtis R. Robles with four votes, Gary Holloway, Jeff B5, as I mentioned before, with 22 votes. Greylock 100, Jonas S. Keith Meyer, also mentioned before, uh, with 26 votes. Mediac 88, with two votes. Mr. Ed, Parker, Snowdog, with three votes, and Zager Vanguard. So thank you guys for suggesting this one. I am looking forward to it, as I always am with bandmade songs. Um, without any further ado, let's get started. Okay, so take me higher studio version. Here we go. Okay. Oh, I don't want to make this comparison. <laughs> like the solo bit at the beginning though. Already a nice chorus. I like the riff. I do like the riff. Wow, they really brought up Mesa Space here. like this. Where are we going? Where are we going? Oh! Really a breakdown! Like the inspira inspiring lyrics. Ooh. Half time and that sort of 
ろ。Nice. I like how Konami just kind of lingered there at the end. Okay, live version. Um, starting a, at the one minute three second mark with this because uh, there's some talking and it's kind of some. Uh, I, I'm not sure if, if you're watching this. I'm I'm sorry I skipped over your your portion. It was a little laggy and like choppy and stuff. But I want to get straight to the music. So, um, yeah. Without any further ado, here we go. <laughs> can hear that really uniquely on like in the studio like the solo portion was kind of all around but here it's just on this side The lasers. Ooh, got a little gritty at that point there. That's one of the things I really like about live bandmate is Psyche can get a little more aggressive than she will in the studio. Really go full on focusing me there. Oh. Oh, really? Got a little conversation going on back and forth there. Call and response. Oh no! My internet. <laughs> go figure. Go figure. I'll be back. Okay, it looks like I finally got it working again, so hopefully we'll be able to finish this off. No more problems. Here we go. Got frozen video though. Okay. Apparently I can't watch the rest of the video though. Guess I'm just gonna have to deal. I don't know if that was supposed to be that way or not, but... Nope. Definitely a good song, though. 
All right, so let's get into comparing and contrasting, and I do apologize for the internet disruption there. Um, I've mentioned before that uh, in a previous video, I reside in a place that, um, to put it lightly, has a bit of an internet problem, a purposeful internet problem. And so um, because of that, um, part, of, part of the reason why I've been posting a little bit more infrequently and also a little bit more random times rather than uh, my consistent schedule I had before is because I can't rely on my internet, as you could just see just now. Um, I, I usually try to find a time where it's like, okay, it seems to be fine now. It seems to be fine now. Let's take this opportunity and try to make it work. And well, kind of butt into the, um, the moments where it chose not to work. So anyway, um, can't wait to be back in the States. That should be coming this coming year. Yay. Anyway, so to the actual song, um, I mentioned right from the first riff, I am probably going to be making several people mad with this video um, because it is controversial. Um, you might be already aware of what I'm about to say. Um, you probably heard it before. Um, but, you know, it's, it's a reaction video, so I gotta give you what my honest reaction. Um, that opening riff sounded like Animals, of, of very similar to Animals um, by Nickelback. And I know a lot of, there's a lot of controversy around Nickelback and people don't like Nickelback and say that they're they're crappy and whatnot. For me personally, I don't really have a problem with Nickelback. So roast me in the comments if you want. Um, I don't I I don't quite get all the hate um, that everyone else um, throws on them. Um, <coughs> that doesn't mean I like every single one of their songs, but like I think personally they get a little bit more flack than I think they deserve. So that um, so I know. Saying that opening riff sounds like a Nickelback riff is probably going to get some of you to unsubscribe. That is fine if you um, if you feel that way, um, but it just they just sound very similar. There's obvious differences because you can't just copy paste and be like, "This is my song." Um, that doesn't <laughs> that would get you in trouble. Um, but uh, one of the things that I like more about this song um, over that uh, is. I like um, a lot more of the um, Konami's guitar solos are fantastic, especially in the live version. I like I like how they did that call, call and response between Konami and Misa um, that they didn't really do in the um, in the studio version. They still had them each featured, but it wasn't like this call and response sort of thing. So I thought that was really neat, and I, I love that what they did there. Um, the other thing too that I like about Bandmaids Take Me Higher um, is that. The message of this song is so much more positive and less dirty <laughs> than uh, the song I was comparing it to. So um, I do appreciate that and would definitely say, yeah, even though like that opening riff sounds similar, I'm definitely putting this in, putting this one above Animals. Um, so I know I'm. This is supposed to be a compare and contrast between the studio version and the live version of the song, but again, um, that opening riff just kind of made me think of. Um, that Nickelback song, so, um, I know, I probably pissed a lot of you off, I'm sorry, um, but gotta give you my, my honest reaction, my honest thoughts, so. I loved, um, one thing I really liked in the live version as well is, I, uh, Psyche brings a lot more passion to her live performances, and I think, uh, like, sometimes in the studio recording, you just need to kind of nail that take and just get it right, um, but, like, I feel like Psyche kind of has, um, when she's performing live, it seems like she has a little bit more freedom to kind of express the way um, she wants to express it um, and just kind of like let herself loose a little bit so you can kind of hear some more aggression in her vocals um, when she sings live and that's something that I certainly picked up on and, and enjoyed. Two, like another difference I noticed between um, the studio version and live version is um, live, like you got Miku in my left ear and Konami in my right ear um, whereas in the studio version, like when Konami's doing her guitar solo, it's more center panned. Um, so that way, like you kind of get it across, you know, both uh, both sides. But like when you've got it isolated in one ear, it, it kind of helps a little bit because then you're able to, if you're if you're trying to um, like learn a piece of the music, you can kind of like remove one like one side and just listen to that one portion. So you. I was able to kind of hear her um, her parts a little bit more clearly um, on the live version and the studio version, um, but 
that's that's one of the benefits of being able to kind of get a, a nice live version. But I really enjoyed the song overall. Um, thank you guys for requesting it. Um, that is all for this video. I'm sorry if I made any of you mad with any of my comments or um, my terrible internet. Um, but like I said, that is all for this video. If you haven't already liked the video, subscribe to the channel, turn on all notifications so that you don't miss anything going forward. If you have any suggestions for um, a band-made song or another band uh, that you want to see me check out next, um, drop it in a comment below and I'll give you a shout out when I do that video. Um, also, if you want to see any guitar covers or vocal covers for me, um, drop those in the comments as well and I'll give you a shout out when I do those. Also, thank you to BM for Life and Jonas S for supporting me on Patreon. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Uh, but that is all for this video. Thank you so much again for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day. God bless you and rock on.